Another good morning that the Lord has given us. Maybe it's good afternoon. Maybe it's good evening. We thank God for this day. He is good. He is faithful. He is available. We continue to learn about Jehovah Shalom. God, our peace. He's a God of peace. A meaidi, an attender. Let us pray as we get ready to be blessed. We thank you, Heavenly Father, once again for this morning for continuing to remind us of your powerful peace presence with us. Encourage us this morning as we look into your scriptures. In Jesus' name, amen. The provision of peace, that is the message of this day. The provision of peace. When you hear somebody is providing, you know, it's like um, you're saying, I'm in need, or you're assured that this one will be provided. So the provision of peace for your life or my life. And remember, we are only focusing about God, who is the sole provider. You know, you could be also a provider in one way or another. You are a father, you are a mother, or even maybe a, a child. You provide for your family, your siblings. But today we are saying, Lord, you are the one who provides peace. So how does it come about? Where do we get it? He is the provider of peace, you know. How do we understand him as our God, a provider of true peace? He is our peace. Um, chapter 6 of Judges, verse 14 says, The Lord turned to him and said, Go in the strength you have and save Israel out of Midian's hand. I am sending you. Go. I am sending you. So, God here is giving Gideon the provision of peace in this journey of facing battles ahead of him. And he's saying, you know what? Go. I am going to provide. I am going to provide. Not money, not uh, food, but I'm going to give you peace that you are going to face this um, battle and not only facing, but you are going to win. In Philippians chapter 4, verse 19, And my God will meet all your need according to the riches of glory in Jesus. My God will meet all your riches in glory according, according. Remember, it's not according to your own. It's saying according According to his riches in glory, the riches of God in glory, that he is the one who provides. He's the one who is full. His bank is so full of glory. His bank is so full of many good things. So according to his riches, he is going to provide. You will not lack. He is going to provide. And he says, you need to be grateful. A grateful heart for God's faithful provision. That is your response. That is your response. And it says in, in 1 Chronicles 16, 34, Give thanks to the Lord for his good, for his love endures forever. Do you know who is your sole provider as you walk through this journey of life? It is our God. Do you desire that you will not lack anything? Look up to God. He is the source provider. He is the sole provider. Not only the source, but the sole provider. What money cannot buy, what human beings cannot give, it is our God who is able to give. That's why he says, my peace I give you, not as the world does. Friends, when people promise to give you peace, sometimes it will come in pieces. They will make your life difficult. You will even lack sleep. But God who is going to provide peace is assuring you this morning. I will not run out of peace. I will give you more as you desire. So this morning, I want you to rest in the knowledge that God is the provider of true peace. Remember, true peace. And through his abundant provision, we can experience his unwavering grace and love. Trust God. He will provide. Trust God. He is able. Trust God. 
He will make a way for you. So this morning, are you like wondering, where will I get peace? Human beings, no. How are you compare? Your husband, your wife, maybe, maybe not. But true peace is going to be provided by the Lord our God, Jehovah Shalom. He is the source of peace. Trust him, hold unto him, and you will enjoy abundant peace. Do you need that peace this morning? I want to pray with you that you may experience it. And Lord, we thank you once again for your powerful provision of peace. That Lord, in your word, we can read and be encouraged. That Lord, you are the sole source of peace. Bless us this morning, Lord, for that who desires to have this peace, who has run short or fallen short of your glory, Lord, we pray that your peace, which you provide, shall be our strength. Thank you for reminding us, Lord, that it's on you that we get this peace. Provide for us, show us your way. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine towards you. And may he continue to provide for that which you need. Peace and any other provision for this day. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit we pray. Amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow as we continue to learn and grow. See you tomorrow. Amen.